back again to Wayne's Cave and it's been only five or six days and the heavens have given us a little bit of uh, clear weather after straight rain 24 hours a day for the past week so um, we did have to set up in the dark tonight because it, it was raining pretty much up until about half eight tonight and checking for that last rain cloud before I took all the, the cables and stuff out there. We dashed out there, got set up in reasonably good time, being careful not to drop any equipment because we do have to carry it around the front to the back via a, um, like a bit of a, a shared gangway between two buildings close together. Uh, so it is a bit of a daunting mission. Uh, the head torch and just taking a step at a time with the telescope in your hands but it's up it's out there we're aligned we're star aligned we've got our uh, EQ mod and uh, all the other hardware attached and controlled in case stars tonight again but the big news is we're back on LRGB yeah it seems like for ages since uh, we've done full broadband colour because of mainly because of the moon um, I think it was about two months ago maybe a month and a half at, at, the, at, the, at the most um, on M33 Galaxy so uh, we're currently on frame 7 of of our luminance filter so we're just catching all the detail with our luminance filter uh, so that's just basically black and white, but all the detail of what we're taking. And then I've got, so I'm taking four minutes of luminance, zero gain, offset 10. And then I've got an RGB program set up here. Um, and the RGB is going to be twice as long. So they're eight minute frames at the same gain. So hopefully plenty of dynamic range plenty of detail um, and hopefully a clear run because the, the forecast does say from now we should have a, a, a about five hour run of, of good clearness the moon is rising at 11 o'clock so I've only got just under two hours left when that starts to break the surface and that's at 50% but my plan is I'm hoping I can get a run or two of what I've got planned on my schedule so far. When that moon does start affecting my levels here, I'm going to switch to the HA filter and just start clicking away like Billy O on getting that HA detail um, because this subject has got, it's a nice sort of reflection nebula but there's also this background wash of HA gases, um, the uh, HA nebulosity surrounding this, this subject. You'll see what it is soon. It's not the obvious uh, object in Orion, but we are in amongst Orion tonight, tracking around. Fingers crossed, I've not done this subject before. I remember seeing a picture online thinking I must try that in a broadband capture plan. All right, guys, I'll get back to you and let you know how we're doing. Cheers, big ears.
dun, 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 dun. If I leave my baton off mask on there one more time. Oh. Well, there she is.